I have a lot of boyfriends, I want you to write that. Every country I visit, I have a different boyfriend. And I kiss them all. Happiness is having a large, loving, caring, close-knit family in another city. Don't you ever let a soul in the world tell you that you can't be exactly who you are. A strong relationship is an honest relationship, and no honest relationship is all peaches and cream. Love is the key. Where love abides, anger is but a passing visitor. I think the most important foundation about any relationship is just being honest. You've got to. My wife and I are honest to a fault with each other, and we're best friends on top of it, so we're very fortunate. We have a couple of rules in our relationship. The first rule is that I make her feel like she's getting everything. The second rule is that I actually do let her have her way in everything. And, so far, it's working. In the end, the love you take is equal to the love you make. Patience has nothing to do with suppression. In fact, it has everything to do with a gentle, honest relationship with yourself. I'd never managed anyone before, so I don't have a lot of experience. But I'm lucky, I have a lot of team members who have a really honest relationship with me. We're very good friends, we have a very honest relationship. He keeps me honest, I keep him honest. He's an incredible actor and when you have an actor like Denzel action becomes drama. The greatness of a man is not in how much wealth he acquires, but in his integrity and his ability to affect those around him positively. If I were to summarize in one sentence the single most important principle I have learned in the field of interpersonal relations, it would be this, seek first to understand, then to be understood. This principle is the key to effective interpersonal communication. A relationship means you come together to make each other better. It's not all about you, and it's not all about them. It's all about the relationship, support them in their dream slash vision just as much as you would expect them to support you. Make each other better. Challenge each other to go beyond average. Pull out the greatness from within each other, make sure they can find their biggest fan in you, and you can find yours in them. If friends disappoint you over and over, that's in large part your own fault. Once someone has shown a tendency to be self-centered, you need to recognize that and take care of yourself, people aren't going to change simply because you want them to. It is always the false that makes you suffer, the false desires and fears, the false values and ideas, the false relationships between people. Abandon the false and you are free of pain, truth makes happy, truth liberates. The training is a set of interpersonal interactions that lead to emotional and intellectual experiences that provide a circumstance and an instrument for self-awareness, self-observation and reflection on the circumstances of the subject trainee, both in his individual life and as a social being. Authority is not a quality one person has, in the sense that he has property or physical qualities. Authority refers to an interpersonal relation in which one person looks upon another as somebody superior to him. The inside-out approach to personal and interpersonal effectiveness means to start first with self, even more fundamentally, to start with the most inside part of self, with your paradigms, your character, and your motives. The inside-out approach says that private victories precede public victories, that making and keeping promises to ourselves recedes making and keeping promises to others. It says it is futile to put personality ahead of character, to try to improve relationships with others before improving ourselves. In a culture in which interpersonal relationships are generally considered to provide the answer to every form of distress, it is sometimes difficult to persuade well-meaning helpers that solitude can be as therapeutic as emotional support.